Good morning. Mr. Page here with your Dirty South Morning Roundup. Good morning, guys. I hope that you're doing well this morning. Uh, just sitting here doing some work. Got my Great Smoky Mountains coffee mug. Go National Parks. Got on my Atlanta Falcons hat this morning in celebration of the Falcons getting Todd Gurley, uh, former Georgia running back who was with the Rams. Uh, he's had a couple rough seasons, but I'm very, very happy as a Falcons fan to finally have a Georgia boy carrying the football. I uh, just want to talk uh, about a couple things. Miss Gann, <clears throat> the art teacher, has made a really cool video and a really cool um, flyer about next week's Virtual Spirit Week. I will be celebrating this with you. Uh, I hope that you will be celebrating this. You can post your pictures on uh, Google Classroom. There's a hashtag. Uh, I think it's DM, hashtag DMS uh, VSW, which is Virtual Spirit Week. DMS is Dave Middle School. Hope you get that one. Um, but anyway, so Virtual Spirit Week next week, uh, and you can post your pictures. And I think they're going to do house points and a bunch of different stuff. And uh, we'll share ours, you share yours, and we'll go from there. Um, also, don't forget free food is going out. Uh, the buses are four hours late, Monday and Wednesday. They're delivering uh, a bunch of meals to people. So if you are in need of food or if you just want some extra food um, to kind of hold you over with all this stuff, please feel free to step out on your normal bus route. Uh, even if you don't ride a bus, you can step out when the, it's supposed to be four hours after the buses typically run. Usually where I live, the buses go by here at like 6.30, so four hours later, 10.30, okay? Um, you can also pick up food at Dade Elementary School or Davis um, from 10 to 1 on Monday or Friday, and there'll be people there where you can pick up food. Okay, so um, my video for Page Walks is going out today about 11 o'clock. Had a lot of people working on their work. Uh, we're almost to 30, but I'm going to go ahead and release it because I love you so much. And because I know that some of you can't make other people do work. Uh, but so many people are working on their stuff and I am so appreciative and I hope that you'll keep working and I'll keep shooting out videos and pictures and doing all kinds of stuff like this as long as you do stuff like that, okay? Um, so I want to talk to you about branches of government. We know that we have three branches in government in the United States. We have three branches of government in the state of Georgia and specifically today, I wanna to talk to you about the legislative branch. This is the lawmaking branch. So when somebody says, what's the job of a legislative branch? Number one, regardless of every other thing that they do, their job is to make laws, okay? So in the United States, we have a United States House of Representatives, which is called the lower house, and we have a United States Senate, which is called the upper house. Generally, with the United States, the Senate and the House, they send things back and forth. They make laws together, but they both have to approve the laws before they can go on to the president to be signed or vetoed. If they are signed, the bill becomes a law. If they are not signed, the only way that they can overturn a president's veto is by two thirds of the House voting to overturn it. And that happens from time to time. Um, but in Georgia, we also have two houses. They are different because in Georgia, the Senate and the House of Representatives are called the General Assembly. So we call them the Georgia Congress. We call it the Georgia House. We call it the Georgia Senate. But in the actual technical terms, it's the um, General Assembly. Okay, so here's a couple things that you need to know. Number one, the, um, the House two years, 21 years old, 180 members, and their president is the Speaker of the House, okay? If you're on the Nearpod or if you're on the slides presentation, there is a whole slide that talks about the legislative requirements. Second thing, the Senate. Only the Senate can be confirmed, excuse me, only the Senate can confirm appointments by the governor Okay, so that means if the governor says, I'm going to appoint this person to this position, they have to go before the Senate. So that's one of their powers. And there are 56 members. They're, they have to be 25 years old. And they also are a two-year term. Now, in the U.S., the House of Representatives is also a two-year term. 
In Georgia, the House of Representatives is a two-year term. But in the state of Georgia, the Senate is a two-year term, but in the U.S., it's a six-year term. Six years is a very long time to be in office. So these guys are basically, these guys and girls are basically becoming members of the General Assembly, and within a year, they're already starting their campaign for re-election. So this is a constant working thing that's going on with these people. Granted, they don't have as much on their plate as the U.S. representatives and the U.S. senators, but it's a very busy job, and I have the utmost respect for both political parties and all those involved. Um, the second thing about them, about the Senate, is that their presiding officer is the lieutenant governor. Now, I asked you a question the other day. I said, who would be the most powerful position besides the guy that's number one? Well, the guy or girl that's number one is the governor, okay? So I personally believe the lieutenant governor is one of, if not the most powerful position in the state. Here's why. It's underlying, okay? The lieutenant governor, second in command. So something happens to the governor, lieutenant governor steps in. Number two, the lieutenant governor is the president of the Senate, okay? The president of the Senate. So that means they preside over the Senate. They make things happen in the Senate. They are the ones who decide what committees the different bills go to. They're the ones that decide if the bill even makes it to the floor. They rule out proposed amendments of bills. Um, they control meeting times and recesses. They order roll calls of yeses or nos, uh, or yeas or nays, whichever. Uh, they have massive, massive power. The other thing about the lieutenant governor is that they have unlimited terms, so they can run for office over and over and over again and be reelected re as many times as they can be. All right, last thing I want to talk to you about today, it's a long video, how a bill becomes a law. This works almost identical to how it works with the United States. But basically, there's a few like complicated steps, drafting, introduction, uh, committee consideration, floor consideration, and governor consideration. And look, that's all great, and we can call it that, but I've made a rhyme for it, okay? And this is the same uh, kind of rhyme that you would use for the U.S. and the state, okay? Here it is. The bill becomes a law by going to House committee, House floor, Senate committee, Senate floor, governor. House committee, house floor, Senate committee, Senate floor, governor. Now, you can flip-flop House and Senate. A bill can start in the Senate and then go to the House. A bill can start in the House and then go to the Senate. But it has to go to committee first, and the committees then decide, is this even worth passing on, okay? So, House committee, House floor, Senate committee, Senate floor, governor. And then the governor decides, do I accept this or do I not? And we'll talk more about the powers of the governor later, but the governor in Georgia has a special power called a line item veto where he can mark out specific lines. I hope you guys have had a good day. I hope it is a great day for you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will not be posting videos over the weekend, so the next one will be on Monday. Uh, if I do post one over the weekend, it will be a page walk. Uh, which I have episode one and two already ready, and they will be out to you soon. Probably, let's just say 11 o'clock today, okay? 11 o'clock this afternoon. Have a great day. God bless you, and God bless Georgia Studies.